Oi, governor. Welcome to I Make Joe, innit? In me homosexual <laughs> opinion. That's really good. I'm Darby, I is. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels, I am. P today stands for panto. Panto, mm -hmm. short for pantomime. And that's where the, the accent ends. That was wonderful. Short for pantomime, which is short for panta... My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Did you do, did you do caffeine today? I did. Yeah. You know, can I tell you what it is though, really? Okay. I'm having a hard time. Me too. Pretending to oh. care about at work. Mm. So I didn't smile or laugh all day. Actually, that's not true. I did laugh at, there's this girl I work with. Her name is Betty. She I call her down. Bettina. Oh. And. Polaroid? Um, no, no, no. Oh. I said something funny to her that made myself laugh. But that's the only time I've laughed all day until I've seen you. How was your day? Okay, to be honest, you are typically only laughing at yourself. No one makes Alexis P. Bevels laugh like Alexis P. Bevels. Like and you know what? Thing. I'm really glad I have that. Because if you can't make yourself laugh, who else is going to make you laugh? Comedians. Uh, Louis C.K. No, thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> why did you immediately go there? Well, why not Cosby while we're at it? How was your day, dear? Well, first, I just want to say publicly that we are not supporters of Louis C.K. We support Kathy Griffin, and that's it. <laughs> my day was good. I did my use. I did editing and such. And I watched the episode today. I was so excited to try Panto makeup, which I think I've done in the past, probably. But Well, yeah, I your first couple of years of drag. Was Panto. Yeah. Truly. Everyone's first couple of years of drag, it looks like Panto makeup. But the people who don't, the people who come out looking beautiful the first time. Oh, val your Valentinas, I don't, your all of They it. don't deserve to be happy. But I think I took it a little too literally because I feel so ugly. <laughs> oh, you look so adorable. You look so cute. And thank people you. like it. And I don't like it, but your here's makeup the looks thing. cute. Well, thank you. That's why I'm wearing glasses so you can't see what it looks like. People just appreciate when you switch it up. So they're going to love it anyway. You're going to get I do it every comments. week. Sometimes the black liner is going like that way and sometimes it goes like that way other times it can even go that way you never know with me let's go to the uk shall we yeah we rejoin the girls miss we're naomi carter is dead she and is missing that's so sad she's missing m.i.a m.i.a mm. and we're getting straight into it with the library now oh we are the library is uh open and it's time to play our favorite game did i hello and it's time to play our favorite game. Did you know I what time it is? <laughs> That's really funny. I'm gonna take it back. Okay. And then if you just wanna come in in the music. I you... feel so ugly. <laughs> I'm okay. And it's time to play our favorite game. Did I have uh... a I have the list written out. Of, oh, you do? I just have oh, the, that's you. the only thing I did. Don't worry, I got all the pictures and, and the such as. Thank you and such as, so too. Did I LOL at our first contestant, Banksy? Yes. Yeah, I did. I thought overall, everyone did really great except for a couple people. I did as well, also, I was, so too. I was very relieved, so too, so too, and so. And such such as. as. Did I LOL at Dee Dee? No. Can I say something mean-spirited, but it's reading, so it's fine? Only if you look directly at my eyes while you do it. You know how I love watching bald men get hair for the first time on TikTok? Yeah. That's kind of what her hair reminds me of. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I could peel it back. Okay. Is that mean? <laughs> read, 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 read. We read it. Yeah, it's the library's open right now. Did I LOL at Michael Maruli? Yeah, you know what Michael I did? Michael Maruli. I did. Did I LOL at Ginger Johnson? Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember any of hers right She's... now, but I did LOL at her. And I gotta say, you kind of touched on it earlier. Okay. I'm gonna touch on it now, consensually. They hot. Would. Very. Would yeah. make out with. Also, they are really happy to get in the middle of everything and to continue. Like, she kind of pushed at Kara when they came back. Like, she's a little messy and she's that's good. Hot. She's the producer. Hot. Yeah. Tamara Thomas. Did I LOL? Yes, but not because she was funny, because she wasn't funny. Yes. Okay. 
I want to say this. <laughs> I'm a huge Tamara fan. I am too, like, I am too, I, I am too. I did not expect to root for her so hard, but no. I love her on this show. Yeah. I did like that she went after Michael Maruli's teeth. You and then me. Michael Maruli was like, we can't even see yours. <laughs> Now, it's something that I noticed immediately with her, but she I was did. but I said, you know what? And I asked her, I said this I says, I says, Alexis, I says, should I say what I think about her teeth? And you says, No. It's just it's not necessary. And I was like, You're right. But then now Michael Maruli's brought it to the table. And now we've said it. And it's the to library. Quote Camille Grammar Donatachi, and now we've said it. I refer to Tamara's teeth as peekaboo teeth. You can only see them on occasion in very specific situations. And they're beautiful, beautiful teeth. Yeah. But they are constantly playing their own game of peekaboo. And that's charming. Yeah. Did I LOL at Vicky Vivacious? No. no but, but she, she was, was so horny. <laughs> right? Right. That bitch was mean <laughs> and horny. I'm getting a vibe from Vicky, and it just could be this could be wrong. I'm sure she has plenty of vibes. Plugs? I think she's moving into a villain place. No, I do not. I think not. she is. No, nope, I think she nope, is. No, nope. I think because she is moving Because along with being horny, she was really mean. Branding herself into being the horny one. I think she's just trying to be open about what a being slut open. she is. Remember when Veronica Green tried to do that? <laughs> Every time. Every time I remember her, my body just, I kind of, I shrink. Yeah. What is that? Protection. Did I LOL at Caramel? I think no. I, no, I think I'd need to call her Caramel because it was, they were not hidden. Wonderful. I did love though that she called Kate Butch Robin Williams, saying that he looks like Robin Williams. Yeah. And then Kate Butch in her talking head said, honestly, she reminds me of Robin Williams right now because <laughs> neither of them are telling jokes anymore. Or neither of them are telling yeah, yeah, jokes at this moment. Yeah. Which I love brings a dark us, humor. Yeah. I love a dark humor. And that actually brings us to Kate Butch. Did I LOL? A lot. Yes. Listen. Yeah. When they tell you, I do comedy. It's what I do. I'm ugly and I do comedy, which is like Kate's whole thing. I love that it, she actually delivers. Yeah, and you need to deliver. Jesus Christ. She delivered. I love that bitch. Yeah, it was so good. She was my winner in my heart, and then she yeah. was the winner in the show. And that was good. Such a beautiful, uh, and all the... Hmm. So too. I've told so too before, right? Remind people though, because it's one of my favorite stories. Okay, there is a drag queen in Chicago. One time, her sister was over at her house when I was at over at her house. She would speak very, you know, she would, she's very smart. I'm not smart. She is. She very smart. I'm not that smart. But she would say so too at the end of every sentence. <laughs> So too. <laughs> and I really wish I, I, I- Give an example, give an example. I almost recorded it because I knew I could never, I can't imitate. There was something she was doing with the inflection that it made sense the way she said it, but it doesn't make sense. So too. It, it was doesn't like make that. make sense. So too. So too. Like I I'm can't go figure out how store. she did it. I'm gonna go to the store and get some milk. So, so too. too. I'm going to tell you all during the credits chat about a celebrity I ran into this week. So too. <laughs> so too! What is that? It's iconic and it's legendary. Iconic. Maybe we can get her on the show. So Wait, too. what if she has Tourette's and like that's her tick? I don't know that that's Tourette's because it was intentionally put on the ends of sentences and paragraphs, so too. <laughs> I'm gonna choose to believe that it's not because that's funny. So too. So then we move on. We find out it's a rusical. It's a rusical. Kate Butch gets to pick her own pant. Part. Oh, she better don't. Oh, you want to say that again? I, I stand. No, you're you. fine. Okay, sorry. I have to say, overall though, I, I love a live singing. It was rusical. so good. I the thought. only live singing rusical I can even remember is from Canada. I'm sure UK's done it before. Anyway, oh, I the was Canada Cla Cirque du Soleil or whatever. Yeah, I was so impressed with everybody. Yeah, to me really. Too. I, I so too. The judges even said, like, we are splitting hairs here because that was one of the best rusicals we've ever seen. And I, and agree. I, agree. I agree. Oh, before we do that though, <gasps> RuPaul. I loved. Are you kidding? Stop it. Look at me. Look at me. 
I thought she looked insanely good. So good, and I loved. The I don't kind know of what it was too, because she always looks good. But something this about great. this. This is the great. kind of hourglass, like the symmetry of above, uh, as above, great. so below, and the hair, the swoop hair off to the side, and the way she couldn't really move in it. Oh, was so glamorous. So glamorous. It was so glamorous. I well, love. let's start with our narrator, Kate Butch. She got to choose her part. And I think she set herself up for success. I think she, she did great. killed it. Yeah. I was so impressed. Yeah. And, you know, she's quick to say she's ugly. Ma'am? I don't think I'm so. I'm gonna fight you on that. Yeah. You hey, looked gorgeous. Kate? Kate? Hey, you ugly, funny bitch. Kate? Kate? You weren't ugly this time. Look at me. But you were funny. Kate, look at me. You're beautiful. I don't know what you say. And I loved her costume and her hair. Yeah, and like the yeah. the judges said, we felt like we were in good hands with you. We felt like we were safe with you. And yeah. God, that's so important to feel safe. I'm glad theater. she didn't let her light, uh, she didn't hide her light under a cape bushel. I'm really glad she let it shine, 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 let it shine. So too, so too. Then let's talk about the love triangle, or the, not triangle, the love regular. Double. <laughs> <laughs> Love regular. Love line. Love line. Love regular. Michael Maroli. Michael Maroli. He was dick or whatever? Yeah. And then we have Vicky Vivacious. And she was cow bald. lady. She was, she was cow. She was cow lady. She was Daisy. I thought they were good. I thought they were really good. Yeah. Oh, they were cute. They're very good singers. And we've heard that about the UK, that there's a lot of live singing queens. And we're not threatened by that at all. Similarly to Tamara Thomas for you, Michael Maroli for me is someone I didn't expect to be enjoying this much. I'm really enjoying them. I think I will always enjoy her as a performer. I think when we get to the runways, I think it's a different story. Oh. Oops. Well, let's talk about Dee Dee being the bread lady. Dee Dee was Dame. I thought she was fine. I thought she was fine. I thought she was annoying, but I, I, that's part of it. This whole thing is like over the top yeah. children's show. It's supposed to be annoying. <sighs> I, uh, I want to let it go. I want to let my, I want to let it go. I want to be nice. Let it go. I can't. Okay. It's giving me strength. Let's do the duo. Kara oh, and Tamara. Tamara, Tamara Kara, so Tamara. So cute. So cute. Odd. A fucking great dancers, Odd characters. Though. I loved them. Yeah, I loved but watching I just didn't understand why they have, like, they're kind of, they were from stairs. Steps. Get it? Mm. They were kind of random, but they were great. Yeah, I loved it. Now, the person who really blew me the fuck away was the cow comes out, right, when Vicky comes out pretty early on, and then the cow's just standing there, and it's very clearly two people in a cow suit. And I was <clears> thinking, <throat> I says, I says to myself, I says, that poor person who's in the back of the cow is just really stuck there. Yeah. Reveal, it's Ginger. Ginger Johnson has been the ass of a cow for how long? Yeah. In full drag, yeah. with a wig, bent over like this, and then she reveals, I think the guest judge even said, like, as Mama Rose, and she killed it. Yeah, she was incredible. Uh, you know what? I'm not I'm expecting nothing less from her now. She's so good. Yeah, she And that is. was really impressive. I'd like to come out publicly as having been one half of a cow before. In, in a production of Gypsy, I... Where's there... When's there a cow in Gypsy? When they're... Milking. So in the begin, oh. in the begin, when she's baby I June, it's mm -hmm. tap dancing boys. Mm -hmm. And then later, I think it's just Gypsy Rose Lee. It's her and a cow and then like a bunch of girls. I don't remember actually how it goes. That's okay. But I, was, I don't think I was the invested. front of the cow. Oh, that's great. I was the front of the cow, which is great for me because I didn't have to bend over a lot. Horrible for the poor kid behind me. Because you fart. Behind me. You because fart. that was the production where I had to eat a lot of egg rolls in the first act. Front of cow in the second act. Sulfur. Kid. It's sulfur. I think that guy, I think he quit theater. I wanted us to be front of cow and back of cow for Halloween this year. Who? You and me. I what would, would you be? be? So well, I, I have experience being the front of the cow, so I would have to. I mean, it, it's no big deal. You just don't have experience being front of cow. Okay, couple of things. Number one. And twinks are better for cow backs. You know I can't resist my old identity. <laughs> How dare you do that to me? No, I've smelled so much of your fart now. I think, uh, what's another night yeah. of Alexis' My farts fart? have changed since hormones. They have changed. Not better or worse, just kind fart of a smelling. Change. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely a lateral move, for yeah. sure. They're, they're more feminine now. And then we had the villain, Butterface. Which is Banksy Butterface. I thought she did great. I didn't think she I did a bad job. I was so what? confused. 
I was yeah, so this doesn't, confused. This doesn't add up in... The judges kept saying that she seemed nervous and she didn't sort deliver. Of, what is that thing with the beads on the wire? Anal. No, beads. no, no. No, it's like a Greek me method of counting. Like with Abacus? The, yeah, it didn't add up abacus-wise. In the abacus of my mind. Bead on a wire. Isn't that what it was? Or were they like dowels? They were like wooden dowels. Dowels! Okay. And I know they said they were splitting hairs, so perhaps live it was palpable, the nerves. And Banksy yeah. even admits that she was nervous and possibly she was well, showing through. live is so scary. It is so scary. It's so scary. Especially to be doing it in front of, like, Graham Norton. I mean, he... <laughs> of all, everyone on, on the... I almost said lanai. What is that? <laughs> It's a lanai. No, everyone on the, the judges table. What's it called? A desk. Uh, a dais. Dais. Oh, uh, Amadeus. Yeah. Sorry. Everyone on the Amadeus. You picked Graham Norton would make you the most nervous. He shit on a glass coffee table in a movie once. Okay. Can I say, the older he gets, the yeah. more into it I am. Yeah. Not the shitting part, but. Yeah. Kissing him in his mouth. The runway is mirror, mirror on the ceiling. Oh, before we go on, would you ever do a panto? I think it would be so fun and right up our alley. If I didn't have to look like this, I would. I would like to do a pretty, please. A pretty panto, yeah. I know I did this to myself, shut up. Up first, Caramel wearing an outfit Beyonce. that was designed for Beyonce. Designed for Beyonce. I think it looks cool. It's super cool. I think she's gorgeous. I don't know how else you would do it, but I wish the panty had been reflected or, or something. something. Or not there. Or not there, but I don't know how that would work. <clears throat> I've Listen, I don't know how that like works. I'll put it back on. Okay. That was a good pantomime, wasn't it? You should panto. I would be a really good panto. If anyone is looking for two... For an ugly, funny girl. We could be front of cow, back of cow, respectively. Alexis, I don't think you understand front of cow, back of cow. You have this big, gorgeous, beautiful butt. I have two bones. So I think if we're gonna do a cow, your butt would be much more realistic as a cow. You know what, leave in the comments below who should be front and who should be back. And remember, she's got a juicy butt. That's spotted like a cow. <laughs> That's not spots, it's chili. Hair, clumps of hair, we know. Then we have Dee Delicious okay. as Bloody Mary. Okay, I, I loved it. I loved the idea of it. And I loved the top part. I just don't like this part. I don't like the fabric, the gray fabric thing. Here's the it's thing. It's just not for me. I have never seen her look like this because usually she's got bib. Oh, that's Which makes true. her look bending over and yeah. choking at the same time. I think she looks so beautiful and I love the top. Yeah, you're right, the bottom is a little but I love it. I love that there's a concept behind it. It's yeah. not just I'm wearing mirror. I thought it was cute. Yeah. It's cool. Oh, Vicky Vivacious. She's kind of blue mirror biker. She's like, she turned years. her skirt into a helmet for Paris Hilton's child. Have you seen his head? No. Paris Hilton's baby's head. Did she birth it or did she Megamind? have someone? Have you seen Megamind? Oh yeah. That. Did she birth it or did she have someone else do it? I don't know. Let's ask her. Hey P, it's Alexis. <laughs> What's up, girl? I'm gonna take you off speaker. She hates being ambushed. I could see pictures on your phone. Like, I could see that you I not. just wanted to see how the baby is doing. Hey, any chance, did you carry it and push it out your vagina, or did you have some, did you pay someone else to do it? Okay, yeah. Unclear. She said she hung up. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. It's a cool concept. Yeah, she looks like an upside down bathtub. Yes. Yes, I guess for me, for me, it's not shaped like a helmet, so I didn't understand. I mean, it's shaped. I didn't understand. It's shaped like a piece of a motorcycle. I don't know. No, she loves not. that. What piece of a motorcycle looks like an upside down tub? Okay, pretend this is like the front piece, and then the seats over here and the handlebar. Pretend it's from the side. That's not even a scooter, babe. Then we have Banksy. Oh, I loved sick. this. Yeah. And then when she took her glasses Holograph. off and she had the gorgeous and orangey then her yellow gorgeous makeup. Gorgeous butt. As a flat butt enthusiast myself, a sufferer, some have called it. Thank you for the representation, Banksy. Because she was very happy to say, listen, I've got a flat butt and it's there. Yeah. So that's how I feel about mine, okay? Does it look great in jeans? No. But when it's naked and it's in front of you and you like it, there's a little something there. I think you have a little something. I do. I think you I'm do. I'm very fortunate that among 
flat butt -ers. My butt is... It's not as flat as it could be. Then we had Tamara. Tamara Thomas. Cool. Fine. Fine. She does interesting hair sometimes. Sometimes I love her hair and sometimes I don't understand it. I mean, she looks beautiful. Yeah. I just, I don't know. It wasn't for me. Then we had Kate Butch. Okay. The Phantom of the Pop Opera. So she comes out with a cover on. Yeah. I was going to call it a cape, but it, it's really just like a big wrap. And then she takes it off to reveal into this kind of thing. I, okay. I loved the face thing and I yeah. loved from the waist up. I liked it a lot. You don't like shreds. You don't like shreddy fabric. I just fabric. don't like this fabric. You don't like shreddy And fabric. I agree with Graham Norton. The wrap was the completely cape. unnecessary. Yeah. Or if she wanted to do it, she should have dropped it at the back. Yeah. Walking up with it, it was like, wait, we're getting a better look at it. Are you sure you want us to see this? I thought she looked pretty. I do too. I also kind of agree with Kara that she could have gone to the mirror and taken something off. A couple, two, three things. I just think she's funny. No, I almost don't care what she looks like. Oh, Ginger kind of, Johnson. Kind of, I agree. Ginger Johnson. This was so funny. This was great. And I'm realizing just now she took Mirror Mirror and she made her dress symmetrical. So it mirrors each other rather than like a mirror. Yeah. Which is what everyone else did. And it's shiny. It is still reflective. And I love too that the plan was, was to, to reveal. reveal arms, which is... So stupid. I love that. I love a dumb reveal, but because and they, she you lost- know, they're in the UK, they don't have a right to bear arms. So this would have been good. This would have been excellent representation. They probably have guns. In the UK? Do you have guns? They have rifles to like hold near their herd of sheep. They don't use them. I don't think they do guns over there. Listen, you're missing out, okay? <laughs> because I like that whenever I go anywhere in the United States, I never quite know if I'm gonna go home. It is kind of fun. So she didn't want to do the arm reveal because she was missing nails and her not doing the arm reveal was even weirder. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. I loved this. Fashion straight jacket. We're going to see more of this in the future. This is oh a my view. I, I'm a fashion forecaster and I see fashion straight jackets coming down the pike. That's how forecasting works. Fashion forecasting. Mm, scanning, scanning. Armless. Michael Moroli. <laughs> I I liked it. It's great. What else are you gonna do with Mirror Mirror? I, like give me share. Her costumes are made really well, and mm -hmm. I think that's really cool. I just don't vibe with her style. That's fine. You don't have to. I what? think you don't have to. You're being so agreeable. What's happening? I coming out, so you better be gay. I think she looks like Cher, and I think that's her vibe. Like she did, Cher and Pink together. She did her vibe really well. Cher Pink. So congratulations on your vibe. Pear. What would we wear for Mirror, oh, for Mirror Mirror? My initial instinct is to do something with a uh, chorus line music in the mirror. Like maybe I would just wear her like a glamorous version of her red leotard skirt, but then have like a backpack of like a bunch of mirrors. And maybe I'd like take them off and like do the dance. Hmm. Nine minutes long. Yeah, it'd be very long. I would do cocaine on a mirror. I would be the line of cocaine because I'm so skinny and white. <laughs> and so I'd be totally naked lying on a mirror. Yeah. And my penis would be, because you know if you buy coke in a club, so it's mixed with other stuff. So my penis would be baby laxative. Oh, see, I thought your I would penis have all these would different... be the rolled up 20 or whatever. You're right. My penis is long enough to be a rolled up 20. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Hey, 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 don't sell yourself short. Your penis is a 50. You know what your clit is? <laughs> a roll of quarters. Thank you. Ooh, heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I got a heavy clit. Okay, <laughs> so we get the critiques. Then we go to Untucked, and I want to talk about this, okay. okay? Kate Butch and Ginger Johnson got really good critiques, but yeah. so did Vicky and Michael Maruli. So then Vicky's explaining to everyone how well it went. She's like, I got 99%. No, almost 100% good critiques. Like all I got was praise. So I think it's either gonna be me or Michael, just completely discounting the other two girls who did really well. And she's like, or it could be like a double win. This is what I'm talking about. I think Vicky is moving into the villain role. I just do. Okay, I did. And I yeah. don't think it's coming from a um, malicious place. Yes, I don't think it's coming from a malicious place where she's trying to be the villain. I just think her natural tendency is to be a little adversarial. Yeah, because even I can see that. Yeah, 
I did not like that, but you know what I did like was when they went back to the runway, Ginger Johnson won. The person she completely ignored took it all. So Take congratulations, that, Ginger Johnson. Yeah. I think her look really put her over the top because I would have yeah. given it to Kate just for the amount of work she did and how incredible she was. Yeah. But I think RuPaul, RuPaul even said the armless dress will go down in history as an iconic drag race thing. So I think she was just... Did you, when you saw that, did you gag as much as RuPaul? Or did, is this a case of RuPaul going insane and it making uh, it better in our eyes because of RuPaul's reaction? Do I think that her reaction was influenced by a coffee enema? Yes, I do. Did it make me enjoy it more? Yes. Yes, it did. It did. So then we get the bottom two, Banksy and Dee Dee. Now, Dee Dee, I understood because I have a personal bias. But Banksy, Banksy doesn't make sense to me. Banksy did not make sense to me. Although, who else would you... I probably would have... Ooh. It might have had to have been one Cara. of the twins. Yeah. I was going to say. I put Kara or Tamara down there. Yeah. I didn't like Tamara's runway either. So maybe Tamara... Yeah. Who I just didn't left? understand. Banksy just didn't make any sense to me. Banksy didn't make sense. None. I don't think Banksy did bad. bad. And her part was much more memorable for me, bottom me, than the, the me. stairs Panto girls. Me. So we get a lip sync to Susan Boyle's I <laughs> Dream to Dream. dream. Um, yeah. As soon as it started. Do y'all remember Susan Boyle? How she took the world by storm because we couldn't believe that an ugly woman could sing? We yeah. were like, whoa, wait. And she that, sounds like a normal human? It's that classic. What? It's that classic old adage. You can't judge a book by its cover until it starts singing. And then you think, that's not a book. That's a book. Yeah, I just, I love that we all collectively, as the world, decided this is, this is groundbreaking. This is groundbreaking. Yeah. Truly. What an ugly bitch. Wow. Now she looks great. She just needs to brush her hair. That's it. I do think Dee Dee <sighs> I slayed. I agree. She just gave a little more. Banksy definitely was embodying the song. But that's not but what not you really want to do on her body the runway. All. You want to have a little, like... Interest. Honestly, it was just this. Dee Dee doing this during the piano part. And doing that. Yeah. With the vibrato. She just did a little more. She That's just really did a little all it more. Was. So we say goodbye to Banksy. I'm so sad. I'm so It doesn't make sad. any sense. I'm so sad. You know what? Ugh. This bank is, this bank's in foreclosure. I saw somebody say that she's the Denali of the UK. Because Denali also oh. went home at this time. And Denali was also an early fan favorite who was bringing incredible runways. I think yeah. this is just part of her, her story, part of her journey. And it's going to make her even more powerful on All Stars. Well, I don't like Me watching her go, but I loved watching her do that extra runway. I love that before she leaves, she goes, Rue, I'm going to walk the runway one more time. And she did. And she did. And she left with her butt out. Yeah. She showed her ass, and then she showed her ass. And both were lovely. Thank you for your butt. I would like to open an account with Banks, the Bank of Banksy. Did you see that they revealed who the real Banksy is? And everyone was like, okay. So, never, meet never judge a book by its cover. Never actually read the book. It's like those people in the Bible. They're obsessed with it, and they've never read it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? One of my favorite books of all time is Everybody Poops. Never read it because I'm living it. Yeah, you do poop. You poop enough for everybody sometimes. Yeah, can I, I poop. You, can I tell you a funny part? This morning, Curtis and I were doing watch TV, play on phone kind of thing together that uh -huh. we sometimes do. And then I looked over and he looked so cute, okay? That I was like, I'm gonna lean over and kiss this boy because he's so cute. So I leaned over and right as I got to him, he's like sitting like this and I lean over and as I touch him, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> you scared him. He farted on me. <laughs> and so the moment was gone. The moment was gone. Okay, well, if you would like to hear more fart stories, join us next week. Hit that subscribe button, and of course, don't forget about Go to patreon.com slash the show. Then click subs join Patreon. Then click five or whatever tier. Yes. Also, we cameo, so do that. Then go to imhotheshow.com and get a shameo. Also, all our merch is dragqueenmerch.com. Uh, I forgot my song. Dragqueenmerch. Dot com. Have I ever told you by hail your tire and battery? Get your rolling. Ow, ow.
No. Down the line. Have I ever told you that? No. So Memphis sits on the line of Tennessee and Mississippi and Arkansas. It's awful. It's awful. Right over the line into Mississippi is a town called Bahalia. This jingle has just stayed with me for 30 something years. Oh. Bahalia tire and battery gets you rolling. Ear, ear. Down the line. Isn't that a great song? That's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful, precious. That's beautiful, precious. Okay, you met a celebrity. Tell me. Okay, I was having a bad day. No, no, no. It wasn't oh. actually that bad. It was just insane because, you know, strike, Heard pandemic, and strikes yeah. meant it was really slow at work. Mm hmm. So finally, Halloween comes, and the Friday before Halloween, it was insane. And I was just like, it was just like I wasn't prepared for it because it had been so slow all year. Mm. And I was doing okay. I was, I, I didn't, ha I didn't take any CBGB gummies, mm. and I didn't drink caffeine. So I was mm. just raw dogging in the day. Oof. And then towards the end of the day, a woman walks by, and she goes into a separate part of the store, and I see her silhouette, and I see her face, like, cause uh, her sunglasses, but I saw her face, cause she was standing profile, and I was like, oh, bitch, who, who, that's, who? that's Melissa McCarthy. Oh. That's a good Melissa one. McCarthy, excuse me. And so I was like, okay, I'm staying at the register because I am going to be the person to check Melissa McCarthy out. I had heard tell that she had come in the store before, but I'd never seen her. She goes in, she goes to a different part of the store. She does her business. The things she bought, the person brought and put by like this register. But when, by the time she got up in the line, she went to that register. I was like, fuck, I don't get to check her out. But her things were right here. So I, I just kind of put them over and she looked right in my eyes. You'll never, you'll never guess what she, she threatened said. threatened you. She goes, oh. she looked right in my eyes. She goes, thank you. Wow. And it was wow. so genuine. It was so wow. warm. I could cry because she is Suki. She is yeah. spy. She was at the Drag Queen of the Year She pageant. was at the Drag Queen of the Year. And she, she was at hair. Juno Birch. Oh no, it was Juno Birch. She was at Juno Birch. It was a Juno Birch. Her She's hair so beautiful. is so beautiful. Her hair though, it's her like, face. It, it looked was, like she just came from a shampoo commercial. It was her from face. A shampoo commercial. It was her face for me that was so beautiful. And oh, no, she's, she's so stunning. and she's always so nice. And I got to see her be nice in person. So that was really special to me. She's and then effortlessly beautiful. Twenty minutes later, twenty minutes before clock out time uh -oh. for me, a twink ruined my life. Oh well, that's kind of my job. Yeah, it wasn't you, it was oh. another twink. And here's the rub. I was uh, at the limit uh, all day, just kind of emotionally. Take it in and in. This, kid, this young person, very much my demographic, young, I think queer, whatever. I just could kind of feel like, oh, I don't have to be service worker. I can just be like chill. So I kind of dropped the whatever. And I was like, oh, you know what? Do you want to grab another one? Cause this one, if it doesn't work out and you try to bring it back, it's missing something and they won't take it. So I'm just like looking out, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he got another thing and it felt very like, we're cool. Yeah. Like, thank God you're normal. Queers queers. Like I was even like, thank God you're normal. I didn't say that, but that's the vibe I was giving. Yeah. He didn't have enough money. So he stepped to the side and I was like, I'm going to just check this guy out real quick. And so I checked the guy out and I was like, how you doing babe? And I didn't say babe, but I was like, how you doing? Whatever. We finished finish and then he was trying to leave but I was like oh hold on and I like put the receipt in real quick because I was trying to get him out it was like done and it was yeah. busy he leaves I'm checking out some other lady he comes back in and he's staring at me and I get to a part in this lady's transaction where I feel like it's not rude to talk to and yeah. I was like are you okay is everything okay he's like yeah why were you so rude to me and I go <gasps> I'm sorry. He was like, you were really mean to me just then. And I just want to know why, why were you so rude? And he's like raised voice in a full busy oh, store. God. And I was like, I'm really sorry. I did not mean to telegraph that to you. I really wasn't trying to be rude. I'm so sorry. And he was like, yeah, well, the, you were just really rude. And the way you said like, thank you, have a good day was just like, and you were like jerky. It was just why. And I was like, oh my God, I was like, I, and then my boss heard it and came from the back of the store that twink. and was like, what's going on? And he said it to her again. And she was like, I'm sure she wasn't trying to be rude. Like she's never like that. You know, what's the problem? And he just, he kind of said it a couple more times and then stormed out. Ugh. And then I took my radio off and I was just, I started like getting choked up because yeah. 
here's the thing. I was never emotional before in the before times. Mm -hmm. Now I'm emotional like that. I got really emotional. I couldn't speak. I couldn't finish this woman's transaction that was all happening to. And she was just kind of like, whoa, like this is insane. And I'm clocking out. I don't know if I'm going to leave and never come back or if I'm going to go try to find that twink and be like, are you fucking insane? It is yeah. a makeup store before Halloween. Why are you yelling at me? Like, yeah, uh, whatever. And then my boss came and she was like, come over here. You can't let that shit get to you. It's going to happen all the time. I just hate that people talk to service people like that. You can't, even though you, you can't... know that it has nothing to do with you, even though it clearly is That's all with him. Thing. Thing. It still hurt. That's the thing. Yeah. Is I am rude to people sometimes. And I was rude to someone a couple hours earlier. I wasn't a huge bitch to this twink. I think maybe they thought my frenetic energy of like Twinks this is getting, an insane day getting a little too got misconstrued. Mouthy. But I was Shut up, Twinks. It made me so angry I could not recover. And the next day I was like embarrassed to go into the work. Because not only did I get yelled at in front of everyone, everyone heard it. So if you know of like a tall, skinny, brown haired guy that said someone at this place was rude to them. There's two sides to every story, okay? I don't care if the person who's checking you out, you feel like a rude energy coming from and it's a really busy like thing. Just oh. leave, just leave, just leave. There's really Here's no the reason thing. for you to come in and yell at someone in the middle of their job. Period. Unless they really have done something egregious. But somebody putting something in a bag too jerky, get a grip. When I say, like, thank you, have a good day, like, that's me trying to have a nice voice for you. It's not me being sarcastic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I want to die because my job is so soul crushingly awful. Yeah. I'm trying to sound polite to you on the busiest day of the year. So maybe that was what. Th like, I've been trying to figure out, and I know it's pointless because it doesn't have anything to do it with me. It has nothing to do with you. Except it did have something to do with me because he made it. Well, right. But ultimately... It was just so awful, and it made me so angry, not only for myself, but just for, like, every service worker. I want to lead... I want to do Les Miserables with service workers. And also because, like, it's a queer person, and you felt kind of like a camaraderie, and That's you just thing. did something nice. That's and then the for thing them is, to come I in... we had a... Actually, was, like... Oh, thank God you're not a fucking monster. I can, like, be real with you. For a twink to, like, attack a trans woman at work. Well, we don't have to pull that card, but that is what happened. That's and exactly it, what happened. It made me pull so it. uncomfortable because, whatever, I know that I'm a drag queen and we have a show, we're public, but I don't want eyes on me. Like, I don't want to be, like, the focal point. And to have it be, like, negative, like, yelling at me like that. And then for me to get emotional and upset, oh, I was, I was going to walk out and never come back. Well, I'm glad you didn't, because that's, that, then he wins. But also, truly, I will never understand people who yell at service workers, first of all, ever. But sure, if a service worker calls you a dumb bitch, yeah, yell back. But if someone just <laughs> does your transaction correctly, puts your stuff in the bag and hands you the bag and says, have a good day, I don't care what you think is behind the have a good day. There's no excuse for that behavior. And 100% of the time, if you're getting a weird energy from someone, it's, it's not at you. It is just that our jobs are shitty. You it's do so live my stupid. hell. You live my hell. Oh, you wouldn't last two hours. That's not true. I'm really good at it. Watch, 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 watch. Do you find everything okay today? Yeah, what is, um, what's a good hairspray? I like all the hairsprays. What do you look for in one? I like a hold, but not too strong of a hold. And I don't want it too shiny, but I want it to have a little shine and I don't want to spend a lot of money. Oh my, you sound just like me. Like, oh my God, I'm so happy you're here. I've been dealing with some incredibly insane twinks and just to have like a normal twink in front of me, we're playing, a normal twink in front of me, I'm so happy. So here's a couple that I would recommend, but really the gold standard. Is got to be. Oh, how much is this? Um, for you, I can go as low as eight ninety nine. That's just like sixteen dollars. Yeah, but I'm gonna give them a discount because I'm really good at customer service. You don't have that kind of authority. You make minimum wage. This costs more than I make an hour. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. I wouldn't last. That scared me. Okay, bye. <laughs>